Hello kiddos, how are you? My name is Edgar and welcome back to my channel where we're going to be talking about books. Oh. Course. Well, uh, actually today like I wanted to make it like a little bit more special and we're going to be talking about LGBTQ plus books. It contains all the colors of the rainbow. It will bring the whole world together. Because like I feel like as a member of our community, it's really important to highlight some stories, characters, authors that will enlighten our lives and also like make us feel a little bit more identified with some stories that we actually need. Ooh, Squidward! I didn't know you were such a colorful character! Well, okay, to start, where to start? The first book actually that I want to highlight today, it's called Less. It was actually the first book on my book club. You know, they have this account on Instagram that it's called The Middle Kiddo, in which we talk about books and authors and we also like have like some quotes and drawings and some art and we share some experiences as well if you wanna see that just kind of like text this link well the first book that we chose for that was uh, Less from Andrew Sean Greer he talks about this guy that is called Arthur Less Arthur Less is a writer and he actually been like really not inspired at all out of the sudden he finds out that an ex-boyfriend is going to get married and then what he can do of course run away so he decided to travel and he goes to different places in the world into this introspection journey and he finds some truth about love and and life and aging. And there's one chapter that it's called uh, Less in Morocco, I think. That one, I think, is my favorite one. So if you're reading this book and if you read that chapter or if you read the reflection that he makes about past relationships are meant to be for, please leave it in the comments and I will be so happy to read about that as well. And to find out that I'm not the only one who actually loved that chapter. Well, the second book that I wanna talk about, it's called Giovanni's Room. It's a book from 1956 um, from this author called James Baldwin. Funny story, when I read it, I actually find it on BookTok, I think, or BookTube. It's like someone recommended it, but I didn't see the year that it was released. So I actually thought that it was a contemporary novel. There's this fact that the guy is a bisexual guy. He's dating this girl, but the, when the girl kind of like goes like far away, he starts seeing this guy, Giovanni, but he feels like the world is never going to accept him. So he's always going to have to hide that part of his life. Uh, it actually reminds me of like some people that I've met throughout my life, some friends and also like some other people that I know. Because I thought that it was a contemporary novel and it was written like in these last couple of years. Super, um, super sad, but it's a really, really good novel. So I super recommended it. If you are looking for a book to cry a little bit and also like to think and to read a sort of a classic, you're going to love it. The third book that I want to talk about is called The Transition Baby. It was released last year on 2021. It's about uh, these three main characters. One of them, well, the main, main character is called Reese. She's a trans woman and she used to date this other trans woman called Amy. In a certain point, they broke up because like uh, Amy doesn't want to have kids. And then Amy did transition onto AIDS. And when that happens, he started dating Katrina and Katrina got pregnant. And then start like this really, uh, how do I say, like it's really complicated plot in a way. It's a really funny story actually. I listen to it as an audiobook. That's why I don't have the physical copy with me. It feels like you're watching a sitcom. And even though the ending wasn't for my appeal, I really love it. I think I talked so much with my friends about it. So yes, now you hear about it. Okay, coming to our fourth book. I know you, you've seen it already. I'm going to be talking about Red, White and Royal Blue. It's a book that you might have heard at least one million times. One day I was walking in Barnes and Nobles and I was like, why not? I will give this book a chance. Kind of like the cover makes me feel like something that I want to read. It's a really lighthearted story about the son, America's first son. Yeah, America's first son that falls in love with the Prince of Wales in the UK. You feel like you're watching a rom-com, totally. Like the way that the characters are described and it goes like from these haters to lovers sort of thing. Even though it's 437 pages, it goes super fast. I think I've read it in three days or something like that because I just wanted to know what it's going to happen. Well, I, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil some things that happen, but I think that it those things happen in the White House, for example, it's going to be like a major drama in today's world. In the book, it's kind of like a ha ha ha, like just like another funny story and they carry on. So it's not 
very realistic, but at the same time, like who needs these real stories when you actually can have like the best type of stories in this book. So if you haven't and you're one of the ones that are still going around it and seeing everywhere that everyone is talking about it and still haven't decided if read it or not, go ahead, you have my approval. The fifth book that I want to talk about is called Son of Achilles. I have it on my Kindle, so I don't have the physical copy. It's another book that you might have heard so much. It talks the story of Achilles and Patroclus. It's this Greek mythology type of story. And the way that it started, I felt like maybe this is not the type of book for me because I don't know anything about Greek mythology. I remember seeing Troy with Brad Pitt, but that wasn't like very like accurate anyways and all the things that you don't know about Greek mythology is going to be explained on this book so you don't need to know some previous things to actually understand their stories it's simply beautiful and I think that you are really going to enjoy it and of course you're going to end up crying it was one of my favorite ones from last year I read it on my holidays and I absolutely loved it the sixth book that I want to talk about it's Call Me By Your Name and actually not only this one but the sequel that is called Find Me the movie I think captures like the essence of that summer in a way that I thought wouldn't be really good translation in the book but it actually did and the way that the author also describes the whole feeling of the summer it captivates you and then I read Find Me at the beginning of Find Me I was so intrigued on how the story was going to continue and the way that it started is super different so I actually thought that I was reading the wrong book and then when the pieces start falling into places you just can't stop it's really addictive story and it's stunning the way that the, the feelings are described and the dialogues that they have like in a very spontaneous way that they're actually talking about and really deep reflections on love I love finding and I think that you're really going to enjoy these ones as well is there anything you don't know I know nothing, Oliver. And the last book that I want to talk about, it's called Bad Girls. It hasn't have been released in English yet. It's going to be released on May of this year, May of 2022. And I read it in Spanish because it's a, an Argentinian author. And the whole story takes place in Córdoba, which is the city that I'm coming from. And the book talks about the story of this trans woman who is a sexual worker. And one day they found this baby in the park where they are working. The whole story develops on like how they want to raise the kids and like this feeling of being a mother. The story is beautiful. It's not long as well. So whenever you do, just read it and then put it here because I would love to know what you think about it. So yeah, these are all the books, the LGBTQ plus books that I recommend. Of course, there's like so many more. So if you want me to make a second part of this book, just leave it in the comments as well. And I will be making it very soon. Of course, next week I have a new video planned for you. So if you haven't, just subscribe now and also ring that bell so you know every time that I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week and have a nice day. Mwah.